All right, it's game time. Let's do it. We're up against a Malphite with Grasp. We could go Cold Start if he's doing Grasp. Sounds good to me. Oh, nice, dude. We got a. We're up against a fan. I always feel kind of bad when I play against a viewer, but it is kind of cool to see. Good luck, have fun. I wish he didn't go Malphite, but it's all good. So we're trying Fleet Footwork into Malphite. We're going to try to scale guys a little bit more. I'm going to play a little bit less for the lane and more for like the mid game. So we got Fleet, we got Second Wind, we got Call Start. A lot of healing, a lot of scaling. Sustain out the Malphite Qs. That's the game plan. Your music is really nice. Thank you, dude. Yeah, this song is... Uh, this is from The Witcher. The Peaceful Palace. What do I think Urgot smells like? Oh, man. I don't know. Like the depths of Zahn. Probably like, like sewage and death or something. I don't know. It's probably not good. Like the blood of his enemies. Oh, dang. I missed that melee. Yeah, we're definitely going to notice the lack in damage early with Flea, but I think he'll be the way to go against Malphite, because, like, you can't really kill this guy usually anyway. They got a Master E jungle. Probably go for a reset here just to get out of the lane so we don't get ganked. This guy's dumping all of his mana too. Oh yeah, this will be really good. Eh, I don't really like that. Let's just not even buy HPs, dude. We don't need them. We have enough sustain. I don't want to waste my gold. Oh, the shield. She's dead. So we actually could have stayed in Lin. It looks like he went for a... He never did his blue, it looks like. So he did start red. I don't think we really lo really lost many minions for backing, though. I actually don't know if I lost any. Oh my gosh, I just noticed I have Ignite. Okay, we actually should have went TP in this lane, but it's all good. I forgot to swap my Ignite. I have been running TP versus tanks. Ignite is weird with this setup since we're like... We're not really playing for lane phase kills. Can slap Ignite on Master E late game though. That'll be kind of nice. Thirty-seven thousand commanding throws. Holy moly! Getting up there. This might be a kill. Oh 
Oh my gosh, dude. He's so lucky. My mana. Dang, if we had PTA, it actually would be a kill. Gonna have to try to find a way to get a good back timing here. This honestly might be decent here with the cannon. I think we'll go for it. I think I'll get back in time before we miss that cannon. Okay, never mind. Not even close. His W wave clear is so good. It's really risky staying there because the Yi might be looking to dive me. Like, I'm, I'm just not sure. I, I have no info on the map there. So I do think it is better to be safe than sorry in that situation. We got a Chemtech Dragon. It's actually kind of nice. Two cloth armors. Yeah, he's probably going to have Wardens on this back. Or Bramble. Yeah, he got a Wardens. Six minutes in, dude. He has Wardens already. Come on. This guy said he was a fan. Nah, I can't blame him for wanting to win. Dang, I almost got that E off. Sadly, nothing I can do against that. It is what it is. Malphite just has really good gank set up. It's alright though. We don't lose too much. I need to kill his control ward so I can actually get some vision down. But I haven't really had control of the LAN. Oh dude, Carnivast. Thank you for the 33 months, man. How you been, Karn? Thank you for the support, dude. Do we get XP? Okay, nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. Thanks for the sub, Bonjoy23. Thank you, man. Let's get some vision this time. Looks like he's on bot side. You've been clean of league for so long. Yeah, I checked out your OPGG the other day. I saw that. Yeah, it's a good time for you to take a break, Karn, with how Urgot is right now. Don't think Urgot's in the best spot, but we still love him at least. Still fun to play. We're not going to do any damage to a Warden Malphite. My goodness, dude. There's no point in even eating in. Gosh, man. That item just plays the game for him. It's fine. We just have to make it to Cleaver. This window is going to be tough, but once we get Cleaver, we can fight. I shouldn't be eating in like that, though. They're probably going to dive me here. How come you were looking at my OPGG? I just want to see if you were playing. 
I like to check in on the fellow Urgot players. I look at a lot of Urgot OPGGs. Just see what people are building. And yeah, I agree about the Warden's Mail. They should do something about it. They did technically nerf it a little bit, but they really should just change the interaction with Ergot W. Like, it, it just shouldn't count against Ergot W, to be honest. Almost a Cleaver Gold. Oh, Yumi got the shutdown. At least they got him, but dang. I don't think there's any other component item that counters another champion that hard. Like the Wardens into Urgot. There's definitely some good counter items, but I don't know if anything counters that hard. I don't think we need to cash in our coal here. I don't want to miss cannon though. I will stay. I will say it is really nice to have a Cole in this situation, though. Because it's going to take so many Ws to kill him. I get so much uh, value out of my Cole. At least until he buys a Bramble or Thorn Mail. Oh, that's a double kill for me. Nice. Dude, I was ready with that E. Oh, that's a miss, really? He dies to my Q at least. Oh, never mind. Man, my E actually missed there. I had to E the other way, I guess. Oh, big snipe, dude. Nice. Across the map. Okay, we got 3.2k gold now. Oh, dude, I'm going Gore Drinker this game. They got four melee. Let's do a Gore match. I think I should get Tabbies right now, though, actually. I need some movement speed. Yeah, Gore Drinker is going to be nasty, dude. Plus, we kind of need damage to kill the Yi ASAP. So that'll be really nice. Amazing snipe, dude. That was a shutdown, too, wasn't it? Extra 300 gold. Hey, good to see you, Zen Pipe. This lane will be a lot more playable now. I just noticed we got pretty insane scaling on this team comp, don't we? Every champ has pretty good scaling. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. Why are they always here? Always has somebody here, man. I really do feel like when I play on this account, I get camped so much more, man. It, it really does feel that way. Especially whenever somebody says they recognize me, like, at the start of the game. People always tend to camp so much more, I feel. There's definitely a correlation. I kind of don't like when somebody types that in all chat, because there's always a correlation to that and getting camped.
kind of just need the lane phase to end, don't we? Like, we kill this guy, but he takes so long to where if he ever fights me, there's going to be somebody there to back him up. Like, he's never going to fight me unless he has backup, I don't think. I think once I get Gore, though, I can 1v2 the Yi if he ganks. If I just focus Yi. So that'll be our game plan. Should be good. I think Malphite ult is still on cooldown. So we know they use topside now. Do I ever build Stridebreaker? Uh, very rarely. I've been trying it out in some games, but I can't really tell how much I like it yet. We can solo Shelly here. Master E's on bot. Wow, Malphite's on bot too. I might be able to go for a tier two here. This might be a double turret with Shelly play. I was hoping it was the other guy. So Malphite actually ran down on bot lane. I thought he TP'd. I was hoping that would be Talon Port. Can he actually just stop me from getting this? I gotta say, I do wish my team would, like, hover me a little bit, because I could play so aggressive and we could just bait a gank. I got fleet healing. I really want to fight here. Get back here. Yeah, see, this is what I mean, dude. If my team backs me up, we can. I'm really strong right now to fight. I can tank for a little bit. Oh, crap. You're going to have to ulti. I tanked for as long as I could, to be fair. Okay, nice. We got enough for Gore Drinker. Two items spike at 19 is really good. Hmm, let me think about this. We definitely want armor. I think I'll get Sterax first, though, and then we'll think about armor. Armor is valuable, but it's not extreme value because he's kind of going to shred through it. But it still would be nice to get it fourth item, I think, here. I think a Thornmill could be pretty good in this build. Probably like Thornmill into Stoneplate, maybe. Once you have Cleaver, Gore, Sterax, you just need to survive. I can tank for really long with Fleet. Oh, nice. Couldn't even pull her. 
I was going to say, we can maybe look for a Baron if they want to. It's a little bit 50-50, but I'm down. I think Echo has a better chance to secure it than Master E does. If he times like his passive thingy. Oh, okay. You should have pinged that smite a long time ago, brother. Okay, nice. It works out. Enemy team just dove in, thankfully. Dude, the gore build is going to be so good this game. I love playing against melee team comps. It's also just nice for Urgot too, honestly. Because usually they're going to be like diving into us and we can just play reactionary. The nice thing about fleet, by the way, is it works on the towers, too. You want to be proccing your fleet on towers and champions, because then it heals more compared to minions. On the champs and towers, you get, like, full value out of it. So you get a ton of heal on the towers. Alright, careful, guys. I got to reset. We want to be beefed up for this dragon. Because they're going to fight for this, probably. Actually, yeah. Rise going top is good. He can port in. I don't want to get top right now. This is real so nice, man. Only thing is, we don't have flash for this fight, but I think it'll be good still. Oh, whoa, go on this, go on this. Oh, my E actually missed. Oh, my gosh, nice. This Ezreal is really good, too. That's just a nice team fight. I got a lot of damage with the uh, Gore Drinker Slash there on everybody. I think I used it twice there. Because I used it really early just for damage. So the thing with Gore Drinker, you can use it early just for damage if you know you're not going to get bursted. Like in that fight. I know they weren't going to be able to burst me quick enough. So that's when you want to use it, like, early on just for damage. But if you know you're going to get bursted, try to save it and, like, use it when you're low. Oh, crap. I can win this. Oh, no, I needed the pull, though. Or did I? We got a rise here. Nice. I can use my gore active, too. Oh, the Q on the wolves. That's smart. Dude, fleet plus gore actually has really nice synergy. Not gonna lie. We got four over 4k healing on fleet. I wonder if I should get revitalized with this build. Honestly, Overgrowth is nice too, though. We're in a really bad spot, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm going around. It's actually really nice. Because we get the 8% Omni Vamp, and then also Fleet heals. And then also the Active heals me if I get low. It's just so much heals.
I gotta be ready to either Malphite ulti. Get the fear on Yi. He's so fast in the fear, dude. Did he have... Wait, he doesn't even have phase rush? Why is he that fast? I know his ulti, but is that really that much movement speed? Wow, my Q disappeared, dude. That Q disappeared. Oh my gosh, we got some Jeff Bezos money. When was the last time I backed? I haven't even sold my call yet this game. Honestly, I would go last item Titanic because I don't think we'd need a stun plate in this situation. Nice, good game, dude. 5.3k healing on fleet. Oh, our Varus forgot to buy items. Oh, dude. We can make him burn flash here at least. Oh my goodness. I guess he doesn't burn flash. Wow. I should reset and heal real quick. We are down a decent chunk of HP. I don't want to leash against the Vladlin. It's really bad for me. We got to try to get a good start. Hey, good to see you, Mesh. Always feel a little bit bad, but it's really bad to leash here. I need to try to fight level one. With him going pool start, though, it's actually... He can pull my E. It's actually not that bad for him. Oh, my goodness. Don't like how that played out. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. We needed to get in this bush. Like, maybe I shouldn't have recalled, to be honest, to heal. It's too hard to level one unless I got in that bush. Well, the good thing is if he pulls at high HP like that, he loses more HP. It's based on his current HP. So the way that the Vlad bar works is whenever he queues it like builds it up and once it goes red you want to disengage because it gets like really empowered. So that one Q built it up halfway and then his next Q will make it go red. So now it's going to go red and that's when you want to back up. You don't want to get smacked by that red Q because it's like really empowered. So basically, after a second queue, just back up, if possible. Man, I gotta do a better job at last hitting. Hey, welcome in, Menace. Nice. 
Nice. We got a tower shot. This should be a kill. Actually, I can't go in, dude. We're going to get ganked by, by Hecarim here. They can't dive me. Dang, so much healing now. Gonna lose a little wave here. At least it's not a cannon wave, though. He doesn't get any played, so not too bad. Um, I don't like you, Max, personally, Golden Knees, but... I will admit that it is good for your lane, but you give up a lot of mid-game pressure if you don't go W max on Urgot. Also, getting your W max does so fun on Urgot. I, I really don't like the key max. But I do think there is a way you can make it work, and I I do think it is strong in lane. You just give up mid-game pressure. Or, like, mid-game power, rather. Which I guess translates to pressure, too. I think, if anything, I don't mind doing three points in Q. And then getting your W at level 10. Like, getting it maxed out at level 10. I've done that a few times in range lands, and it felt pretty good. Close to being a kill. We got a trade flash. Not too bad. Honestly, if I had my W, man, I should have saved my W. I guess he would have flashed. Still has ghost. Let's go see if there's any fruits up. We got a little bit of spare time here. It's actually really nice for us. Dang, Chem Chemtech Drake is really good on him right now. Tenacity is really good against Durga, and then he also gets a little bit more healing power. That's a really big value dragon right now. He's pretty gankable. He does have Ghost, but... I'll have my Grinder coming up here. I think this will be a kill. That's good. Nice, dude. I love it, man. So burning his Flash was... It ended up being really worth it there. Or, like, getting the trade flash I'm in. Because Ghost is nice, but the Echo placed his W really good. That's where you just need flash to live on that gank. Let's make sure we get a shotgun on this. And then we'll go for one plate. I don't want to overstay too much. Oh, that's right. We get free boots this game. All right, sweep. It's minus 40 degrees where you live, Menace. Holy moly, minus 40? You're somewhere in Canada, right? 
That's crazy, dude. Everywhere else is like cooking. Oh. That's sad. Just dies to an E? What the heck? That seems like a very strange way to die. Oh, you are saying it's like that in the wintertime? I got gotcha. you. I was going to say, that would be kind of crazy right now. Maybe we can do a little flank on this guy. If I save my W... Oh, crap. He didn't pull. Dang, I had a good play there, but he needed to pull my E. But he knew it was going to be an E miss. What's the coldest weather you guys have ever been in? I've actually never been in minus 40. That sounds insane. I think I've been in like minus 7. Oh, he's going to flash? Oh, we land those. I feel kind of bad KSing, but it's kind of worth it because I don't think I was going to get an assist. Oh, we got that Shelly too. Nice. That'll be a ton of gold for us. We get the dash. I just want to make sure. I think Merc Treads are looking okay this game. I think Tabby's also look okay. I might have to end up switching if the Zaya gets like really fed. I think we're going to go Sterax into maybe Radiant Virtue this game. They don't have a lot of burst damage on the enemy team, so I think we'll get a lot of value out of Radiant, just healing my team. I mean, they kind of have a little bit of burst. It's kind of hard to tell. Could also go for a Jack Show. Let's try to kill this guy. Beautiful kill, dude. That felt good. Just gotta get that pool down. You've been in minus 30 before? Holy moly. Yeah, I remember being in minus 7 was like... I was bundled up and it was still like freezing cold. That is not fun. Will soon fall. I would rather be in warm weather than cold weather, personally. I'm not a person that deals with cold very well. Or, like, I guess I'll deal with it, but I would rather be in warm. I don't like to deal with it. But I guess in winter, you have no choice. Ooh, red buff is up. This feels very, very sketchy, though. I have a blast can. Kind of awkward to proc my shotguns here. 
Oh. Goodbye, Vlad. Back to the fountain. What skin am I using? I'm using the uh, High Noon with the Red Chroma. I know, I haven't used this skin in a while. It looks really nice. I like the colors. Looks nice when you have a red buff too. Yeah, good point. They're going to be looking to try to shut me down this game. I'm actually only worth a 250 gold shutdown. I guess because their ADC is doing so good. And their jungle too. Can we do anything here? This is the part where, like, I can tell I'm going to struggle at this point in the game. Because we have a 0-4 Vlad that's, like, not really worth killing. But I also feel like it's really hard to, to team fight right now. If I have Flash up, though, I think we can team fight. If I have Flash, I have a chance to kill Zaya. If I don't have flash, it's extremely hard. Zaya's strong. Dude, that's on a Nautilus too, man. Wow. Okay, nice. Good snipe by the Varus. Nice shot. We do have very salty here. Nice. Holy moly. Can get another charge. That's a really big value, Shelly. That's actually kind of good that we don't get inhib. It's a little bit early. Wow, our Echo maybe lives? Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, he's juking. I think I am going to go Jack Show. I think I'm going to do more of a selfish build. We're pretty fed this game. Yeah, I'm feeling like that's the play. I think we can do a lot here. Okay, team is popping off. Do we need to help with Dragon? Probably not. We'll just go for bot tower. It's actually kind of risky pathing. Let's back up here. 
they don't have much to do on the map, so they they could be like in bot side jungle. Oh man, Varus got popped. Man, he's actually worth a big shutdown too. Okay, Zaya's no ulti. Dang, it's only me and Trist. Too many people blocking the ulti, I think. I would like to fight right now. Nice, Varus got it too. That's good. Our Varus is pretty good as long as he doesn't get Lux binded. Wow, that Baron just canceled out my E. Dude, this is kind of 50-50. Oh man, I don't like this. We should try to fight here. I'll try to zone off the uh, tech room here. Oh my god, 7 HP on that Baron. Thank goodness, dude. Whoa. Not even aiming for me. Alright, nice. That play was really sketchy. It worked out, though. Um, The rank is going to reset, Brita. Boy, yeah. They're doing a soft reset. So it's not a hard reset, but you are going to have to play placements again. In like 10 days or whenever the split thingy is. I know, man. We couldn't we couldn't zone him off. He's playing ring around the Baron. He's just too fast. It's always awkward with Urgot trying to zone because like I can't get over walls. And I'm just slow. Oh, this is a good angle to fight here. Uh, team? Okay, I thought it would be a good angle. I was mistaken. Man, I really don't like how we're letting Vlad just free farm. And we're, like, not pressuring them. Like, this guy's just free farming. My bad, though. I think we can maybe actually I don't know if we'll make it to drag it's kind of unlucky timer so close to my protein man why do you spam W you want to do three W's and then auto attack it's just for the max DPS The only time you don't want to do it is if you can, like, circle around somebody and proc all your shotguns.
Got enough for Jack Show. Plus, I think we'll have Flash next fight. Should be pretty massive in the next fight here. Yeah, that Vlad's going to be pretty strong. Even though he he was 0-4. He just got a death cap from just power farming. So in a game like this, I sadly can't go Titanic. We got to get armor going. Because the Zion and Hecarim are so fed. I think a stone plate could be kind of good. I think a stone plate could be really good. I'll just hover mid right now. It seems like there might be a fight soon. If you don't run TP, you kind of have to hover a little bit more. Yeah, we sadly just can't go in there. They could throw with a dive here. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. We just cleaned house. If this Vlad wasn't perma-splitting, we could actually get a Penta. <laughs> Meet me at red. He's trolling, dude. I think going for Inib is honestly the better play. I'm sorry, but I'm playing for LP, dude. This guy's baiting. Man, those are the plays why I play Urgot, man. So good. I love having Flash on this champ. Aw, oh, man, I actually can't do that. Hopefully we don't die. I think we're good. Can actually maybe fight here. I don't really want to back until we have enough for a stone plate. 290. I'm going to sell my D-Blade. Because we need to get this before the Baron spawns. Dude, my team needs to, like, play safe here. Face checking is so bad there, dude. I should have bought a control ward. Man, I don't know what our Trist is thinking there. I tried to ping that as much as I could. But at least we get their Zaya. We can still fight. Oh, this could be good. I think if I zone the heck room off, I think it's good. My team should do Baron right now. I got the Hecarim because we got a Cleaver stack on my Q. That's how you can know if you hit somebody. Nice, that guy's completely zoned off. Oh, maybe not. Okay, good thing he didn't steal. I don't know how he got in there. I guess he went around that way. Okay, that could have been really bad. Nice. I 
I think I'll just get a Thornmail. Their only chance of winning right now, I think, is Zaya. Honestly, my team is putting out some good damage. Don't think we need Titanic or, like, anything. I don't need anything that gives me damage. I just need to live. That Glacial Augment's gonna slow her. Now they got no wave clear. What a good match, dude. GG. Holy moly. Ten, we only had one death, dude. Very nice.